It's been more than two months now since Tucson's modern streetcar began revenue service. In that time, ridership has been higher than expected. But as the News 4 Tucson investigators uncovered, Tucson taxpayers may end up on the hook for the cost of injuries caused by the streetcar tracks. Here's Tom McNamara. We've been closely following developments leading up to the launch of the modern streetcar and what that may mean for Tucson taxpayers. And what we found, a slew of complaints filed against the city, some dating back months or even years before the streetcar even began rolling. Broken teeth, um, a few broken collarbones, uh, maybe two or three of those. And, you know, it depends, you know, a lot of road rash mostly. Ian Johnson is with the Living Streets Alliance and says he's seen plenty of cyclists who've ended up on the wrong side of the modern streetcar tracks. People will be out riding their bikes along the streetcar route and they'll hit the tracks and you know whether because someone pulled out unexpectedly or because a car was parked very far outside the lines, they'll just find themselves for one reason or another running across the tracks and they'll get injured. And they're not alone. Based on information uncovered by the News 4 Tucson investigators, there have been a half dozen claims filed against the cities for injuries that are being blamed on the streetcar tracks. But so far, there have been no claims filed based on any injuries caused by the streetcars themselves. Turns out it's not just novice cyclists who are getting injured. The vast majority of people who crash on these tracks are experienced cyclists who actually know that the tracks are dangerous. One of those experienced cyclists who didn't file a claim is Laura Ballas. She was hurt earlier this year near University and 4th Avenue when a car stopped right in front of her, forcing her into the tracks and off her bike. No, I definitely didn't expect someone to stop right in the middle of the street. So, yeah, unexpected. I mean, it hurt a bit, and but as I started to ride home, it hurt more. And my elbow got really stiff, and that's you know later that I found out it was broken. Living Streets Alliance has a streetcar crash tracker on their website, and they tell us while the city and the U of A have worked to educate cyclists on the dangers of the streetcar tracks, it still might not be enough. No matter how good your education is, there's always going to be a case where something happens unexpectedly, and there's just not enough room. To, to safely maneuver around the tracks. For her part, Laura tells us she's not sure any amount of education can help keep cyclists out of harm's way. I think it's just hard with them, with the tracks being parallel to the road. I think the way they're designed is really dangerous. The more I looked into it, We've linked to the streetcar crash tracker. You'll find that information at kvoa.com. And by the way, two of the six claims filed against the city have now become lawsuits. If you have a story you'd like the investigators to check out, send us an email, investigators at kvoa.com, or call the tip line 955-4444. Tom McNamara, News 4 Tucson.